Say hey, what is going on guys? I'm Spawn Trap bringing you another video and today we are finally reading the history of Call of Duty Esports comments. Finally gonna react to some of those. I picked out 12 in between like all four documentaries. Maybe there were 14 of them. I don't really remember, but I didn't pick too many of them. It's kind of selective about it, but the first one coming in, and I'm going to go in order of the documentaries, beginning with the first one, just keep in mind that is Modern Warfare 3 and earlier, is a comment from some guy's name I cannot even read, and he says something that a lot of people said, nothing about PC COD 4 Pro Mod, I got hit so hard from a lot of people because I had not put the COD 4 uh, Pro Mod in, didn't even mention it, and honestly, Really couldn't find too much footage of that. There was some guy that tried to tell me that there were all sorts of resources. I could have found it anywhere on YouTube, but I mean, in reality, in the pro mod days, uh, YouTube really wasn't a thing, really, and I don't really have any expectation that the resources to find video clips for that would have been out there, so I skipped over it and obviously started at Call of Duty 4. So, the next comment is me from Crypt Sloth, who's now a part of Vale. He says, when Spawn Trap uploads, I swear I drop everything and watch it. He uploads videos about toasters called The Evolution of Toasting and Bread. I swear I'm going to watch that, even if I have to put my wedding on hold. Obviously, Sloth is the most sarcastic person I've probably ever spoken to on the internet, but still kind of like that comment. Matthew Ruddle said, and this is a comment that came up on a lot on the first one, is I love how small Sensor used to be. If you look at Doug Sensor Martin now, you know, like the buff guy that he is, or dates Jeanette Garcia, and you look at the guy that you saw, you know, back when he played for Quantic, um, he was a much smaller, even glasses wearing guy, didn't even quite look the same. Uh, looked like the kind of guy who might even be considered a nerd in high school, I really have no idea. Uh, and then the last comment I'm going to pull from the first one is Paul Emmy says the casters are detriments. The early casting, um, even. Modern Warfare 3 casting. If it wasn't Benson or Puckett, it was pretty bad casting, I'll tell you that. And then, King uh, with an X says, My boy Proofy has been on so many teams, and Proofy, especially on Black Ops 1, was so good. He's kind of getting back to that form on Black Ops 3. Excited to see how the guy does. So, Johnny Boy says, How long did this take to do all four of these? It took about two months, and honestly, I said I'd never make anything bigger than the the history of uh, sniping or the evolution of sniping. I never said I'd make anything bigger than that. And when I made this one, you know, with it being four parts and all, it was obviously bigger. And it was an overwhelming amount of work, uh, just pages and pages of research. And obviously, in that, there were some faults to it and there were some mistakes that I will point out, especially towards the end. But it was a lot of work and I hope you guys appreciated what I did get. Um, Kenny the Taco said a quote that... Uh, Normally referred to as the cringe caster. Um, he says, quote, I do not like this play from Nade Shot. Quote, a few seconds later, he's running back. I like this play. This is from UMG Chicago. This is from when Rambo's casting. And this clip has came up so many times because such an intense game resulted in the fight between uh, Nade Shot and Aches. Um, and that clip came up so many times in my documentaries, and it's like the cringiest casting we've ever heard. Giggle Fart says, and this is in the third one. I realized after I uploaded it that I did make this mistake. He said, did you say 2004 qualifier at 525? I should have said 2014 uh, Call of Duty World Championship qualifier. And I said 2004 qualifier, which was terrible. Uh, Pyrex Creamy, referring to the thumbnail on the third one, said, did anyone else at first think that Complexity was doing the whip? They have like their hand out and they got like their, their you know, their rings on or whatever. And it kind of looked like it, but not really. If you want to go check it out, you can. Dude of Gondar said, well, Spawn Trap, you did it again two times in a row. You included butt crack. Again at 5.30 on the third one, the time where I said 2004. Uh, maybe a lot of people missed that. They were too busy looking at the, uh, I think it was one of the, the Strictly Business Managers. Uh, had a little bit of crack showing. I know in the second one, there was uh, obviously Parasite's butt had to be showing. It was, you know, it's an important part of Call of Duty Esports. Concord says, tried it, T1.ler are Australian and not British. I got this one wrong in the third one as well uh, on Esportspedia. Comes up with the flags for the countries and I should know an Australian flag from a British flag and I do. But when they appear at, you know, 12 by 12 pixels, um, I guess I make mistakes like that. Liquid Coke said, you said Crimson replaced Nade, but it was Karma. This is on the fourth one during Advanced Warfare when Nade Shot retires and this was such a big mistake. The fourth segment of the documentary got taken off of the 
COD Esports Reddit because this was such a big mistake. Oh my god, this was embarrassing. This was an embarrassing mistake that I, I flipped Crimzix and Karma. And when, when it comes to Optic fans, stuff like this is a big deal. Jason Aguler said, Great video, but you forgot Season 1, X Games, and Season 3. I left out every single season of MLG ever. I would never intended to put in any of the seasons. I was only working with events, so I left out the seasons on purpose. But X Games, how the heck did I leave out X Games? I don't know. I guess I got sloppy towards the end when it came to the fourth one. You know, when it came to Advanced Warfare, I, I kind of got, I will admit that I did get sloppy. I've been working on it for two months and just through so much process, you know, I guess it gets to that point. Penn Smith with my last comment on the fourth one when TJ Haley is going ham in uplink and he comes in clutch at the end. He says, anyone else notice the Angry Birds pajamas bottoms? He is wearing Angry Birds pajamas and they are literally... If you want to go back and look at it, they are the mustiest Angry Birds pajamas ever. Literally, they've never been washed, but they must just be, like, the luckiest ones because he came in clutch against Denial in that uplink game. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the comment reacts. I love doing these, and, uh, you know, I had a lot of comments for that I obviously only picked a few of them that I really did like, and, uh, some things that I just had to correct because there were a lot of mistakes that I made towards the end. But I'm Spawn Trapped. I will see you in the next video. I will hopefully have a video out tomorrow. And most of the days this week up until Christmas, I've been really trying to grind that out because a lot of you guys are off of school. So I will see you guys then.